Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to build a Python program for NOT gate using perceptron neural network. So previously we already see of AND gate and OR gate. So now let's start with the NOT gate. Input for the NOT gates are uh, 0 or 1. That is the only uh, NOT gate is the only one input NAND gate. So you can see that here only two test cases for the NOT gate and if NOT gate input is 0 then its output must be 1 and if NOT gate input is 1 then its output will be 0. So this is how the NOT gate works and for the perceptron we have one uh, input node then activation function uh, sorry summation function and here is the activation function. Uh, the summation function is a into w uh, that is the weight for this uh, input as here we have only one input node so the summation function is easier so let's see the summation function so this is the summation function that is a into w that is the weight and this one is the input so this is the a and weight is associated with the input and let's assume y as its actual output that is uh, for a is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 so let's decide the threshold for this activation function so that it is easier to develop a program uh, assume that uh, means uh, a is 0 then w is equal to anything so 0 into anything is always 0 and for that test case we need the output as 1 so we are going to make threshold as a uh, 0 and suppose if summation is equal to 0 then we are going to set the output means predicted output as 1 so I will show you how it is going to look like okay so now see that the summation function is s s is equal to uh, input into weight so let's uh, suppose weight associated with this is uh, equal to something 1 okay so what happen is now a into w that is 0 for the first test case where input is 0 0 into 1 is always 0 so s value is 0 and we are assuming that threshold is equal to 0 so if threshold equal to equal to summation value now summation value is already become 0 because a into w and threshold is 0 so the output is 0 but we don't want output as 0 so what we are going to put here as output will be 1 means if threshold and summation value equate then output is equal to 1 and you know that the threshold value is 0 so output will be 1 for that uh, because uh, summation value also 0 and for this perceptron we are not going to add any bias so we are just working with our input and just uh, managing with the help of threshold value and now for the second test case a is equal to 1 so 1 into 1 is all equal to 1 so now our summation value is 1 now our summation value is 1 and threshold is 0 so 1 is not equal to 0 so it going to run the else test case for the activation function and the output will be now here 0 so in that manner our or uh, sorry not get perceptron is going to work and suppose that uh, if we put a uh, uh, weight something like uh, 0 maybe suppose the means worst case test case so 0 into 0 is 0 so it will pass the first test case but it is going to fail the second test case so our uh, means uh, weight updation function will update automatically the weight so that uh, it will manage for this output uh, uh, input test case also so we are going to see how it is going to happen in the program only so now let's move towards python program so that you can understand it in better manner just don't forget that our weight are uh, our weight is 1 and means for just uh, for the test case and later we will make it as 0 and our threshold is always 0 so now let's move towards python program so this is the not gate uh, perceptron python program uh, i refer it from my first video that is for the and gate perceptron 
uh, if you want to guide for the test uh, means step by step guide so that you can watch the and get perceptron video so you can understand why i am exactly writing the code in that manner only uh, means why i am taking here i is equal to minus 1 and all that stuff you can refer the first video that is the and get perceptron video i will put the link in the description as well as the i button uh, so now let's move towards our not get perceptron so uh, a is the input uh, when zero is the input then not get output is one and when one is the input then output is zero so just now we discussed our activation function if output is equal to threshold then we are going to uh, out predict the output means uh, this is not the output actually this is the summation value so for the better understanding i'm going to change it to the sum if sum is equal to threshold then we are going to return uh, the output as one else we are going to return the output as zero now here a, a is the input that is zero and one and its respect to output are one and zero if you want to see it then its zero's input is output for the one so like that it is going to match and let's assume weight as one now and threshold is our zero as we discussed uh, learning rate doesn't matter because the already we are setting the test uh, means threshold and weights uh, by means by our research so that it is not going to learning rate so next i is equal to zero and we are setting it for the zero test case then we are running the test case summation value is equal to a of i into w that is a of i into uh, weight as we just now see and we are go going to pass it to the activation function that is our summation and threshold threshold is zero and summation is calculated here and our activated activation function is going to return one if summation is equal to is equal to threshold value and uh, suppose if we don't get the means predicted output matching with our actual output then we are going to update our function uh, the test case i told you that suppose that w is equal to also zero that is not going to pass the second test case uh, why i will show you after running the program and our means updatation function is that uh, w is equal to w plus learning rate into our actual output minus predicted output into our uh, current input so it will update the weight accordingly uh, with respect to our learning rate and this is how it is going to train the model and uh, means set the weights and after that we are going to pass the whatever input we uh, need to convert to the output so i'm converting it out to the means i want to convert zero input as to the output so i'm passing it uh, to means uh, our perceptron that is the not input and we are checking the means not input output and returning it to our uh, printf function so now let's run it so this must be the not okay let's run the program now so you can see that uh, it takes only two test cases because uh, here is no updation function required because we set the weights and threshold uh, with our own discussion and research so input is 0 weight is 1 so 0 into 1 is always 0 and threshold also 0 so it matches and the out predicted output is 1 and actual output is also 1 and for the input 1 weight is 1 so 1 into 1 1 uh, so summation and threshold are not equal so predicted output is 0 and it equate and return the 1 and after that uh, we want to predict the output for 0th input that is the 1 so now let's test it with the help of putting here zero so that you can understand it in better manner i'm going to clear it and rerunning pro program so now you can see that previously we have just two test cases but now we have four because of the means wrong weight so here uh, the test case is correct because zero into zero zero and it is going to match the summation and threshold and it predict the output as one but due to weight 0, 0 into 1 is uh, summation is 0 and threshold is 0. So it predicted output as 1 but actual output is 0. So it is going to updating its weight by its own uh, as per our learning rate. Learning rate is 0.5 and it 
update it weight to minus 0.5 due to this uh, updation function you can see here then weights are updated so we are going to training our perceptron again so for the zero test case means uh, where input is zero zero into minus 0 0.5 is zero so summation is uh, minus means summation is zero and threshold also zero and next uh, it is going to because it matches the predicted output is one which is match with the actual output and for the input one into means for input one weights is minus 0 0.5 so one into minus 0 0.5 is summation makes minus 0 0.5 which is not equal to threshold that is zero so due to this it is going to run the else part and returning to zero means predicted output is zero and the actual output is also zero so it matches the test case and mm, the weights are correct for these inputs that is uh, minus 0 0.5 is also a valid weight for this perceptron and we require a mm, output for the zero input so it is going to one and similarly for the one input the output will be zero that's it uh, if you want the step by step guidance for this program you can watch the and get perceptron video and that's it for the today's video uh, in further perceptron series we are going to build xor gate that is means universal gate and then some complex circuits for the uh, digital electronics so that's it for the today's video thank you for watching this video we will meet in the next video